item of major business is a financial task force to report. Um, at our last financial task force two meeting, which happened over February break, uh, that uh, uh, Tony, myself, and Kate attended, uh, we've really been trying to sink in on uh, how we want to update the community, uh, what that communication should look like, uh, how do we want to describe, you know, the history of the financial work uh, that's taking place in Belmont from you know literally 2000 uh, to 2020. Uh, and what some of the pluses and minuses of our work has been as a community as it relates to supporting uh, the, the town's budget. Um, we, we decided that uh, Patrice uh, Garvin, our town administrator, and I and Tony and Glenn Castro would sit down and start to talk about internally uh, how we wanted to kind of gather some of that information for the town, uh, how we wanted to frame some of that information, almost like a how did we get here. Uh, instead of pretending that we're just here and we have to move forward, I think the, the history of the last 20 years in Belmont uh, can speak uh, volumes to uh, why we have certain needs uh, in Belmont, how we've been able to utilize the most recent override well, uh, and then in the end, what are the challenges that we have moving forward from a town expense side and a town revenue side. So um, we're going to wait for that. Uh, presentation to be put together and we'll want to share it here at the school committee and we'll share it as well at the, the Board of Selectmen meeting. I don't know whether that will be at our March 10 meeting or at our March 24 meeting. Um, there's some timing that we want to make sure that we align with the, the Board of Selectmen uh, in that presentation. But uh, I, I want to thank uh, Kate and Tony as well as Patrice and Mark Palillo and Jeff Lubian and Glenn Castro and uh, uh, Tom Caputo. There's been some work uh, involved that we have uh, Becky. Becky Vos from Be Capital Becky Vos and uh, Floyd Carmen, the Floyd right um, You know, there's a real lot of thought to uh, how the finances work in Belmont, uh, how we want to strategically look at this, uh, the next five to 10 years in Belmont, and be respectful of the tax uh, payer and the tax dollar <coughs> that we're afforded each year. Uh, we ask a lot of our community in terms of uh, funding, schools, police, and fire, uh, and also capital needs that we have, uh, as well as the, the current high school project. So uh, that really matters to the public, and they want to know uh, that we're doing so in a very uh, responsible way. So uh, the next report, I think, will be a little more formal. Uh, the last couple updates I've given at the school committee table have been rather informal, and so we look forward to putting that presentation together for March 10 or March 24.